I mean, if you think about it. No. I mean, I mean, just, you were one of the first people that ever believed in me. And then that built, and then over time, and then everything we've done together. Yeah. And then your son. I mean, you know, look. It's, it, it, for me, it's, it's how do you document 30 years of friendship, of real friendship, that not based on money. It's based on real friendship, and then the set next generation, and, and, and all that. And to me, it's, it needs, everything needs to be documented. I'll let Darren figure out how to slice it and dice it. I here was Grandpa's original non-Ferris building. There used to be a baler inside this door about halfway Upstroke back. Upstroke baler? No. A pit baler? No. It was uh, just a self-standing baler with a with a big old long pole on it that you would you would tighten down the bales by hand. So right here on the right, right here, I'm driving across this old scale. And then this is where his old, this is where the office was, right here in this snowy area. So there's still a, there's still like 95 acres here that the Curly family has. Uh, holy Toledo. There you go. Well, I, I've hit a few trees. That's why they have these big rubber things on the side. Well, I, you know, we grew up on the scrapyard. So, you know, we, we saw it all from the day you were born until you could walk and go down and screw around in the scrapyard. You know, we saw employees that did stuff for dad. We saw dad, how he worked, run a crane. You know, he bought, you'll see a picture of the crane on the, on the photo, you know, his first magnet crane in the Fulton County, you know. So, yeah, you know, I remember the, remember, you know, the, the growing up, the, the equipment, you know, and the people coming and going and stuff like that, you know. So we got Great Grandpa Morris, Mag uh, Morris Magazine. This is on a pile of foundry steel that's going to Dalton Foundries here in town. This is in the, this is here in town. This is here in town today, Magazine. This is dad here in 53, my dad. Then we moved down to Akron, 64, one of his first trucks. I think this is dad, maybe my oldest brother. First crane trucks we use, same crane only on a different truck. Uh, I'm not sure, this might be a cousin. This was back, there's the old non-Ferris building. Back down at the yard in Akron. And then here's that, I think that's that first day woo I bought, I can't remember. It may not be, that may be a cat. <laughs> After high school basketball, that was fun. Oh, yeah. Softball was fun, too. I loved playing softball. That was a blast. We won't go in your that's, well, that's we won't go in your leap halfway around third base to home place. I'm <laughs> up a bit short. That's a, that's a heck of a story, but you're right. Let's not share that with the world. You got to come back to a meeting to... Everybody misses uh, you. You yeah. know how many people have asked for you? Louis? Really? Where's Louie? It's, yeah. it's just... There's a missing piece to, to when you're not there, Louie. I'm yeah, yeah, no. I've moved past the moon. I'm gonna, have you seen the Trans Am yet? Yours? Yeah. Wow. My dog is slippery, man. This is where Rita and I fell in love. What? 78 Trans Am. What age you were when you said, this is for me? I'm going to be a scrap guy like my dad, like my grandpa? Well, you know, I, I don't know. It was, it was in the early 20s, really. I mean, it wasn't when I was like in high school or grade school or playing with the crane and the magnets, but I knew college wasn't me and 
scrap was. <laughs> so, was that the first 20s. week in college or first day no, of college? No, that was after three colleges I got in and out of. So <laughs> it took me a while to beat myself up a little bit before I realized that it was time to be a scrap guy. <laughs> fascinating he goes all I ever did was see my dad work that's all yeah. I want to do guys yeah you know Carrie and Allie are the new Mike and Rita <laughs> they are well, they learn they learn well how did I end up yeah. here yeah well I was Dating Carrie Lewis, we met right after he graduated from high school. And uh, the lady who was a cashier here put her two weeks in. And I was finishing up college and just kind of working random jobs. So it was going to be a temporary situation, but yeah, they so kept paying me and I, kept, and I stayed. <laughs> we don't just do metal anymore. We, we recycle everything we can. And uh, the sustainable future is, is going to be the future of our generation. Uh, before Carrie came, we did everything on paper still. I know we had the walkie-talkie radios, so then after he came, we switched to a computer system and just upgraded ourselves into the modern century. <laughs> We're going to need to find innovative ways to recycle things that Dad, the, the, the old generation, never even thought of. Risk out here. January day. Come on. <laughs> this is Indiana, man. This is where we're at. Watch the ice. And it may be, it may even defy economics um, just for the point of recycling. How cold is it? Cold enough to, to leave stuff run during lunch. Yeah, that right. That's how cold it is. Yeah, absolutely. Why would you want to cool down? Um, and, and things will have to change you know, to, to meet those economic needs to recycle the thing. And, that, and that's where we're grappling right now with the plastics market, steel market, now joining the plastics market in a, in a low fashion. And, then, and, and those are just the easy things to recycle. There's a whole slew of other things, um, other materials that manufacturers generate that also need to be diverted from the landfill, but they're not as well known. So it's, it's an information thing for, for recycling in, 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 in any market or any material. Having the knowledge, that knowledge changes so quickly with technology, um, you know, and, you, and you're going to see a bigger need from manufacturers to direct people on how to recycle their goods. Want to grab lunch? You guys are ready. Where are we going? Penguin Point. Oh, God. Come on. All right. You're home go. away from home. All right, we go Penguin Point. You know what's so funny? Uh, the first bite takes me all the way back. <laughs> and it's just it's crazy how that happens. <laughs> That's hysterical, man. So, what about you? I always wanted to be a scrap guy. I was just told I couldn't be a scrap guy. You couldn't be? Then it shouldn't be a scrap guy. I should put it like that. Oh, you don't want to do this. This is not what you want to do. So you went to DePaul. I went to DePaul in Chicago. I got my four-year degree in two years and nine months. Why so fast? Do everything fast. <laughs> So we, uh, we buy auto and truck parts, auto and trucks. We bring them in, we inventory them, we see what valuable parts are still remaining. Anything that we know we can't sell, we remove, we scrap it. Everything that we can sell, we store it, line it up, and wait for the buyer. Do you remember the first thing you said to me after hello? We're at the Holiday Inn. Do you remember the first thing you said to me? I'll never forget. Oh, you got your white polo shirt on. An yeah. actual polo po polo shirt, okay? Yeah. You had a gold bracelet here. 
Okay. You're smoking a cigarette. Yeah, my bad you habit. You looked over at me and you said, so how come all your customers like your machines? Yeah, that's right. I remember. Yeah. And I went, <laughs> never been asked that. <laughs> yeah, I remember. My first day, <laughs> yes. And I didn't know about this, it, that they had this in our community. It's totally new to me. Warsaw is such a bubble that you can, you know, we're, the we're the orthopedic capital of the world. And so we've got a lot of industry here but I just knew nothing about it. <laughs> Honestly, right away, I was really excited okay, to be involved okay. in this industry and okay, yeah, just I being a part of What's something that helps the, the environment. I think right away, I knew this was a big deal. I'm just here to really support Gary, Mike, and Rita. I want to be a cheerleader for all of them. That paycheck every week, I'm not looking for too much more. <laughs> <laughs> I get to bring my dogs to work every day. I get my own nice office. I don't want to say little known fact, but anybody who knows your dad knows that he'd rather be in his caterpillar crane, yeah. material handler, loading trucks. Yeah. He had two cell phones, and I always thought you had a fax machine in that dog. No. Thing. <laughs> Everybody accused me of that. No. <laughs> you, you sit in your caterpillar crane, and you're the happiest when you're loading trucks, yeah. and then come Saturday, Sunday, got to mow the woods. Yeah. See these? You just love this. Put your earpod, your headphones on, and just listen to some tunes, huh? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite? What's what song that comes on that you kind of go a little too fast when you're mowing? REM. <laughs> Which one? Losing my religion. Losing my religion. That's a great tune. I uh, know something. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> this what they use. This is a fairway mower. These are, hyd these are hydraulically driven yeah, blades. Can. Check that one out. Man. This ride's rough. <laughs> you know what the tractor said to the plow, don't you? What's that? You know I had two... You know, there's a Grand Jam with a two-car game. You know, I bought, I bought one and put two of them. When he when he loved you when he when there was somebody he loved yeah no, he, no. He, he he knew their name Mikey who was that yeah Mikey and then at the convention he'd take the guy's badge and turn right <laughs> yeah him. no he didn't care yeah. Mike <laughs> yeah he was he was a great guy Johnny what's the oh Marsh that closed yeah Marsh closed I think this place is for sale yeah I don't think we're allowed to be scared. We, we got to, we have to be, we're, we're the final shot. You know, we're, we are what cleans up the buildings that come down. And, um, you know, a lot of people don't think how all that goes away. And, and to do it in an environmentally conscious manner also, where we're not just leaving a mess behind us every building we turn on. I mean, the environmental work that has to go into moving certain buildings and things, it happens for months before you can even touch the place. So, and those things are, are essential to what we do because having a long-standing business that isn't environmentally conscious in our it's not acceptable you know when i first met you back 30 years ago 
you were less than two months old, mm -hmm. and you were in the middle of the living room floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And you know, when we were negotiating on the shear, you kept saying Rita, you know, Rita, and I didn't know Rita was wife. And I, who, who's Rita? And somebody, or somehow, I missed the wife part and I got accountant part. Mm -hmm. And then I realized Rita was the wife mm -hmm. and the boss. Yeah. You like to think you're the boss, but... No, I never thought I was the boss. <laughs> no, remember, I'm just a crane operator. That's what I tell everybody. Yeah. Which is just fine. How's working for mom? I, I get to work with my mom and dad every day. Not a lot of people get that opportunity. No. And I, I bet you there's more people who say they would never want to. There's, yeah, who would dismiss it. But we make it work. Sure you do. We're doing it for eight, nine years now, so... A lot of, lot of, lot of kids would have gone back. It's hard to believe sometimes, yeah, that you do some of the things that we do, yeah, and have gotten as big as we've gotten in the last couple of years. And maybe, maybe big's not the right word. Just it's totally changed. No, it's, your dad's a huge. <laughs> it's just one minor step. You know, these are, you know, it's funny, just just jokes back from all those years ago, just joking, whatever this, I don't know, you know. Because, you, you know, you guys have been surrounded, think about this. You were surrounded by Omnisource. Uh huh. Now it's Omnisource, Metal X. Yep. And then, who was the guy in Elkhart with the shredder, uh, who had the shredder up there? Who Sturgis was Iron and Metal. Sturgis Iron. Yeah. Yeah, Mervis to the south. Yeah. Well, all the Levens. Yeah. Right? You know, the Girdlers to the west. You know, there are, there's, you know, we compete. You know, we do what we do, and they do what they do, and, you know, we do business with them, and some of them, and some of them we don't. We're in an active market, and that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah, but... You, you know? it, it would be a real fumble if you don't make money cutting iron in northern Indiana. But, you know, well, there's some people who haven't. Well, there's some people you know, gone. It's a real fumble that that happened. Yeah, you know, well, so. I always say your success, Louis Salva's success is really based on the fact that, and you've got that, Kerry, but your dad's word was it, man. Yeah. I tell people all the time, you know, who don't know Mike very well, your dad, I say, you don't get it. You could leave Mike Lewis a million dollars in cash and say, I'll be back in 10 years. And the day you walk in, he go, here you go. You know, you, you get up every morning, you come to work, you know, you do the things you do. Uh, it, it's a crazy industry, I guess, you know, and hopefully at the end of the day, A, nobody's got hurt. Uh, that's a key thing. Uh, B, everybody goes, gets home safe to their families. That's always a key. And, you know, and you come right back and you do it again, you know, the next day. So, One of my favorite things to say is once you think you've seen it all, just get, wake up, go to work the next day because there's always something different. You know, we, well, there's always something different at Lewis Salvi. So. Johnny, it's good to have you back in Indiana, you know, and you and Phil and everybody and your dad they rest in peace you know i mean we just he loved you mike i know he was a great guy we talked about him some of the stories some of the times he'd call me up on the phone and complain about the prices and stuff like that you know so hats off to the sierra team that's for sure you know great 30 years of friendship it's a nice thing everything that goes along with this business and all my buddies from misery and everything so wow. I'm glad to have you down for the day thank you yeah i'm sorry rita missed you but Oh, well. She'll pull it together. She knows I love she's, her. She's tough. Yeah, she's, she's very tough. tough. She'll be all right. She'll well, listen, both of you, thank you. Yeah. God bless you both. And yep. to another, more than three, how about another 60 years? Now, let's <laughs> double that, right? There you mm -hmm. go. Right on. Double man. it. Oh. Love you, brother. Thanks for pulling me up there. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, it's, that, it's that Penguin Point lunch, you know.